Today is an exciting day because we are finally back doing Jurassic World unboxings and... Oh, oh, and the dude loves to stretch. But we've got some stuff to unbox and well, we'll let's just get them. Because you've all been waiting for them. Boom. Here they are. I don't know why you guys were so excited. Like, guys are all so excited for... Zuni Ceratops, who, you know, just up and down, head, twists it around, legs move. This guy, num nums, breaks your ear if you, he bites them. But yeah, don't know why you guys were so excited. There's my review. So if you've enjoyed this video. <laughs> oh, for God's sakes. The, everybody who's watching is like, where's the Mosasaurus? You've been teasing it for like a month, man. Uh, I don't know what you guys were talking about. It's like, it's the Mosasaurus, you know. I didn't, I didn't say I was gonna actually do it, but... What was that? No, oh, guys, don't worry. Let, let, let's just get these things out of here. Come on, get them out of here. You came for this guy, the... What's he called again? Uh, the Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Ocean Protector Mosasaurus from the Dino Escape line. And before we take him out of the box, we're going to just um, look at the box, which one thing I will say I really love about this one is how much it stands out. So, because if we get like, pardon me, um, I'll just get you and you uh, here. So let's compare. So like, if you look at the box art for these two, they look very same for the T-Rex and Baryonyx. They're like exact, they're the exact same. And if you had all of these like there, you'd be like, they all just blur together and they don't look unique, especially if they're all the same size. Like, for this guy, there's the Ankylosaurus and also the, um, Ceratosaurus. And, like, if you just look dozing around, you're not going to spot one interesting. But then when you compare him with this guy, he, like, pops out just like, yeah, 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 ooh, what's this guy? Well, yeah, I'm going to get rid of these, which these guys will be coming soon, don't worry. But when you look at this guy, oh, he looks great. And I love how it like starts with the toy here and then sort of, and then just goes to the body on the box side. Similar to what they did for the Fallen Kingdom one, one did. But it's interesting also, speaking of that, that this is the second Mosaur from Mattel, which feels weird, I gotta admit. Cause like I would have expected there to be like a dozen by now, but compared to like how many T-Rexes there are, I think there's like almost 20 of them. I can't, I've lost count. But, nope, only two Mosasaurs, this is the newest one, and I do like the color scheme a lot, and I like how it's sending a message of the ocean protector, and how it's made from one pound of, um, gar- no, not garlic, one pound of, um, ocean-bound plastic, or 454 grams, as it says there. And I'm pretty sure it's showing here that the, um, tail and Flippers are the ones that are made from it, because that's kind of obvious, because the most source itself is, like, the body and stuff has actually got a rubber feel like the previous one. But that's the front, and also the sides show, like, um, the campers as well, like, this one shows Blue, Ben, and Sammy, and then this side shows the other three, Brooklyn, Ken Kenji, and Yaz. But now, it's time to look at the back of uh, that was a fail. Back of the box. I'm rusty, guys. Give me a break. Which shows the toy in the ocean, gives us more of how the um, most source was made with the ocean-bound plastic. Which, by the way, guys, stop polluting your oceans and stuff with all that plastic. Use single-use plastics, of course, and also just stop polluting. It's gross. It's evil. But anyway, back to the most source, the one who we want to commit murder, to eat us. Which, I think it's time we, uh, you know. Got him out of the box. Wait, where are the scissors? Jesus, I'm so not prepared. I just need to go and get the scissors now. <laughs> we have the weapon. <laughs> I'm going to do this very deft. Well, let's see. Uh, that's one. Nope, nope. Always cut away from yourselves, kids. And parents, please do not. Please do not judge my cutting methods. Ah, there we go. There we go. Ugh. Get to it, stop chipping. Oh, there's a flip. 
flipper. Flipper. Big tail. Oh, jeez, that's a that's a big tail. I I did not know how big this guy is. Oh, where am I gonna? Oh, uh, well, well, he's broke. That's what. There you go. Everything out. Ah, we have the flippers. We have the tail, and we have the motosaur still trapped in the box. Which, oh yeah, that is cool. Wow. That whole thing's painted, it's not just there. That's good. I could actually keep this in a way and like, you know, maybe like, you know, if I have it put up here for future videos and stuff, which we got a few of those, trust me guys. We're, we're making up for our delays in Jurassic Park, you see. But maybe if I like put it at the back here, like where the jun Lego jungle is, I could put it here and like, you know, have this sort of set up as if it's swimming and stuff. That'd be That'd be a good idea, yeah. Do you, do you think that'd be a good idea, Rodrigo? As long as he doesn't eat you? Okay, so we got his approval. Release the Moses. God damn it, cut! Ah! Success. Now, before we assemble this, you know what we do. Don't throw out the poster, Austin. Jesus. Instructions? Oh, we don't need those either. Let's put Let's put on his, oh wow, that is really squishy. Nice and squishy. Very nice. That's concerning, actually. Come on, there we go. That's the tail, ooh. Wait, what? Okay, that's strange why it's not. And then front flippers, that's you two. Wait, no, that's, those are the back ones. And the final one before, Aha! The Mosasaurus! Assemble that last! <laughs> and oh my god, the... This thing is... Look at the sign of the... Like the um, previous Mosasaurus, because I know it like had a real feel and that was the thing for it. This guy has it too. Like I'll probably be doing close-ups of this guy, and like if you squish the head, it um, goes inwards. Um, is, yeah, the mouth is too. The mouth used to be um, plastic. I remember the mouth and flippers and tail were always the plastic, which I must say. I like this mo I like this most source a lot more. I was sort of thrown off by the previous one because of its color job. Like it was a bit too light. Like it worked if you like you had it in water. That was the color that it matched. But like this feels like the color of it when it's not in not in the water. I like how they have the second row of teeth, which is good. The gum lines are good, and the paint job on the teeth are pretty good. There are some little oversprays into the gum line, unfortunately, but at the top, it's actually a lot better. Yeah, quite good. And, I, as I mentioned with the teeth, they have the second row of teeth, but unfortunately those aren't painted, which probably would have been a little too much for them, but it's fine. I would have, it would have been awesome if it was, but, you know, it works. And now, if you look, you got the detail of the nose, which I never saw that on the original, which was really strange. And hmm, okay, that is a little strange. His mouth is a little misaligned, unfortunately. That's a little sad, but I do love the color scheme, like the way it fades into the white. The jaw could work, could do with better work, because like it, it obviously looks quite separate, like the blue and white. But if you look like for the body, it fades in. You can see like, it starts like in the top actually. Like you can see different spots where it's like, you know, fading in and into the dark blue. And then it goes, sort of lightens and then breaks apart where you see different parts of it going to the nice silvery blue which looks really nice, before you get to the white. And it's not even fully white on the belly, it's actually a sort of baby white, I might say. Like, it has a hint of blue in it, which 
really, really makes it stand out and fits real good. Also, in a close-up, you'll probably be able to scan the little tag on the flipper, which I wonder what that's for, even. Is it for Jurassic World Alive or something? I know it was for, um, for Fallen Kingdom's toys, but I don't know about these guys. Flippers, very, um, sturdy, won't, um, you know, move. Unfortunately, the back ones are, like, really, really loose when twisting. Like, especially this one for some reason. Might have been, by the way, I placed it. But, like, definitely it really works. The tail's got some movement, so, like, you can make him all happy, like a puppy, and wave his tail. I don't know why this is separated, though. Like, it's the same plastic, I think. I think it's a little bit thicker. But, yeah, the detail on the on the scales. It's really hollow, though. Like, can it even go in water? Like, would it just, like, be like a sponge and, like, completely full? Then you take it out and it's like, well, yeah, it has a bathroom issue and just, like, pours out. That'd be fun. And the detail on the eye, I would say the eye needs a bit more work. It sort of feels like, like, it definitely pops. Don't worry about that. It, it works. Like, you instantly can see it. Like, one problem many people had with the first one was with the eye as well, like, because it was a sort of a greenish yellow, I think it was. I can't remember, because I don't have it. I didn't have anything from Fallen Kingdom's line, unfortunately. But I know that, like, in the Be Game Beaver's unboxing for that most source, the eye was, like, a lime green and really, at a distance, didn't, like, pop. Unlike this one. Like, this one really pops. Just, I think there should have been a little bit of white added. You know, how it reflects in the light. That's just my personal opinion. And also, I love, love the fact that it has um, these from Ocean Down Plastic. Because it fits this guy so well because of, you know, how important our oceans are and how we keep polluting them. And this is Mattel's way of saying, hey, we've got to stop. This plastic that was made that people said it was unrecyclable, look what they did. Look at the detail in the flippers that they used from basically garbage which I, I love. But now, now let's scale him with some guys. Let's get Toro right here, and let's get the Indoraptor. Now, Indoraptor's longer than Toro, like, by a little bit, but let's say, would they be into scale? I, I would say Indoraptor, like, let's say, um, let's say Indoraptor's the, um, main one. I would say Toro needs to be a little bit smaller, like just a little bit, because like this is supposed to be a juvenile version, because that's what Toro is, and the most source, I definitely would say he needs to be like longer, because this is the one from, well actually no, it's from Camp Cretaceous, so it was smaller then, but if it, this was supposed to represent the um, Dominion or one after Fallen Kingdom's ending, it should be like, realistically, that one was almost 100 feet, I'm pretty sure. Like, Jurassic World was like 50 feet, feet or 80 feet. This one jumped it. But yeah, I would say, like, if it was bigger, then holy Jesus, that would be a nightmare. But I would say the tail actually needs to be a bit longer. Like, like probably realistically, if we were looking at these toys in scale, the tail should actually be extended like, a little bit more. Probably not to the length of this table, but around there, like, somewhat. And, yeah, let's come... <laughs> he could swallow this guy. No, 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 no. Hold on. Take a nap. Or, you know, here's the funny thing. Mos you know, Mosasaurus is swimming, just having a nice time. Zunoceratops is, you know, he's, he's taking a drink. He's... Take a drink. Excuse me, Rodrigo, your leg's loose. And then suddenly, BAM! Smacks him up and throws him to the ground. Oh, there it goes. Falls into the boxes of doom. So, yeah, guys, there it is. There is the Ocean Protector Mosasaurus. Out of, out of 10, I would give it a... Probably a 7 to 8, because there's a few things I would have changed, like, you know, the tail being a little wider. But for what it is... It's amazing. I love what it represents for the flip for the ocean down plastic. I really appreciate that. Hope they do more things like that for their toys in the future. And since it's a most source, I'm not gonna complain about posability because like 
it's very difficult. Like, how are you going to get a neck joint for the head for this guy? Or, like, for a plesiosaurus or something like that, where you can see the full separation between neck and head, that's easy. Like, these, it's easy for these guys. This one, no. I'm perfectly fine with um, it being the way it is. But that is going to be it for this unboxing. we still got loads coming in the future. But if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like, of course. And if you haven't already, will you stop shaking? I know the table isn't as sturdy as it used to be. But anyway. But if you've enjoyed this video, I would appreciate the like. And if you haven't already and want to see more unboxing videos in the future, leave a like, hit the subscribe button to join the hunt, of course. Be safe. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>